Big brook trout love big patterns, like large mouse patterns and big streamers. So today we're going to tie you up with a tuna lick streamer. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. We'll use a size 4 stainless steel saltwater hook to tie on, some 6 aught black thread to tie with, some white EP fibers for the tail, some pearl polar flash for the flash, some UV2 scud dubbing for the body, some black rabbit strip for the back, and some large eye guinea for the gills. As always, I put my thread on and built up a nice base layer onto the hook. And I'm just taking a clump of my EP fibers, and I'm going to start just behind the eyelet because I want the body nice and consistent for the shape. So I'll take that back to the bend of the hook. And then I'll cut the EP fibers about three inches. I want this fly about three inches long. So I'm going to cut it on a bit of a taper and make it about three inches long. Now the tail's tied in. I've taken about three strands of my polar flash and we're going to double it up on the hook. So I'm just going to put that onto the hook, wrap it back and keep it on the, keep it on the top of the hook. Extend it back about the length of the EP fiber we put in and just cut it off. And now it's going to be our highlight. Now we're ready to put on the back and it's a kind of combination back and tail. And I like to use the black rabbit. I've got about a small to medium sized zonker black rabbit strip. And I'm just going to measure it back here, put it right at the very back of the hook. Take just a few wraps just to secure that down. And then again, I'm going to extend the rabbit back and make it as long as the tail on the EP fibers. And I want it just to go just slightly past where those EP fibers end and cut it off. And that's your tail. And this will create the body or the back on the fly after we dub in the body. Now that the back's tied in, I really like this next material. It's a, it's a UV2 dubbing. And the reason I use it is because it really does mimic the color of fish, the body. It sparkles, it's, uh, it is UV2. So I prefer this, this scud dubbing. And all we're gonna do is I'm just gonna just dub, it on my, dub it on my thread. And, and you know what, you can put it on fairly thick because uh, we want this body to be fairly thick. And then we'll wrap it forward to form the body. Now the body's tied in, I'm gonna take my rabbit back and I'm gonna move it forward just behind the, the hook eye and we'll tie off there in preparation for the gills we're gonna put on next. Now that the back is tied in and the fly has a really good shape, I'm gonna take some large eye guinea and I'm gonna trim it down. I just want this to lay on the hook like this, but in a nice fashion, right along the whole body length, but I want it small enough to imitate gills and kind of the body. So we're gonna take our feather, and again, just trim it down and taper it to the tail end. Take a good pair of scissors and just trim it so it's no wider than the body. So there it is, there's the finished trimmed guinea, and you can see when I lay it on the body, it is about the length of the body, which is just perfect, just extends back. So I'm gonna tie it in, one on one side and one on the other. Now the gills are tied in. Of course, as always, we like to whip finish to finish off the fly. And before I whip finish, many times I will just make sure I've got a nice full head on that fly. So wrap your thread around a few times just to make sure you've got a nice small black head on there and do your whip finish and make sure this is secure. And with this pattern too, sometimes I'll head cement. I'm not gonna head cement this pattern, but a lot of times I will use head cement. So there it is, the finished tuna lick streamer. This color combination works very well for brook trout, and I think it might even work good for other species. So give it a try and let us know. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sf.com otf.ca and if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.